giving me the opportunity to speak very briefly. I'm very much aware that you are not here to, um, to hear from me. So it's a real privilege to be able to address you very uh, briefly uh, and, and to see such a fantastically full room. Um, the, uh, the, this is actually the room where the Parliamentary Labour Party, the official opposition, meets every Monday just before here. Um, for our weekly meeting, and, um, and, and basically the room is only ever this full uh, when we're very, very cross with the leader of our party and want to, to, to make it clear. So this is, you know, this is clearly, uh, it, it's, it, it, this is a very good sign. Um, it's a real uh, honour to, to have the speaker of the, um, of, of the regional government, of the parliament here uh, today, here in parliament. Um, I. Uh, I hope, sir, that you um, I understand you, you have had some uh, issues uh, entering um, Parliament recently, so I hope that, uh, that our own security officials were a little more accommodating um, than, uh, uh, than yours have been um, of, uh, of late. But it is, let me just very quickly, uh, very quickly say, I mean, how important it was for us to be able to go and to reaffirm the links between the Kurdish people and, and the British people and, and to, to pass on when I was in Kurdistan and had the opportunity to visit the front line where you are fighting on all our behalf uh, against the, the evil of Daesh, just really to pass on uh, our thanks to you for, for doing that, to reaffirm the bond that exists within between our two peoples, and obviously a bond which has been so much strengthened over the years by the, uh, the way we've been able to welcome so many Kurdish people into the United Kingdom, as we've seen here today. So thank you, sir. You are hugely welcome, and I'm really looking forward to listening to what you have to say today. Thank 
region. The proposal entitled the revision of the draft constitution of the Kurdistan region has been published. At a critical time for the future of the Middle East, we are indeed privileged to have a speaker with Mr. Sadiq's experience, academic understanding, his role of speaker and his activism to offer a unique insight into the struggle for democracy and the fight against Daesh in the Middle East. I welcome Mr. Sadiq to the floor.